Warning, this review has really bad acting in it, so viewer discretion is advised. Oh my goodness, that was a scary story. But you know what? I got an even scarier story. It starts on a very cold and dreary Monday morning. Little did I know when I woke up that morning that I would have to face one of the worst Wii games ever made. Ah! Everywhere I turned, it appeared. I had no idea how it was happening. Why won't you push? Push! Why won't you push? This game was haunting me, and it was driving me crazy. Why won't you leave me alone? I don't want to review you. You're too awful. <laughs> Eventually it broke me down, and I had to face my fear. No! Alright. Fine. I'll review you, you pile of crap. Let's do this. Let's review Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz! Wow, this guy was way too excited to announce this game. He must have never played it. Let me make this perfectly clear to the Monkey Ball fanboys who are just itching to write me hate mail. I like the Monkey Ball series. I think it takes a clever approach to the old game of rolling a marble through a maze. It's this version I don't like. While I don't like this game, I would never classify it in the same league as any of the data design games that I reviewed. Those games are just unplayable. This one's just badly made. That said, this was my first Wii game, Wii Sports excluded. The game left such a bad taste in my mouth from its awfulness that it's surprising that I fell in love with the Wii at all. The only saving grace is that I got this game as a Christmas present, and I didn't have to spend one dime on this abomination. But I still want to thank the person who gave it to me. Thank you. If you've never played a monkey ball game before, it consists of a monkey and a ball, obviously, rolling through a narrow hovering platform, collecting bananas and making its monkey way to the exit before the timer runs out. It has a very unique control scheme as that you have to move the world and not the monkey and the ball. You turn your Wiimote from side to side to move the world so your monkey can move. But unfortunately the Wiimote's not fast enough to read the split second movements you're going to do. So you're going to have to overcompensate. A lot. It causes a lot of cheap deaths and it's one of the major reasons I loathe this game so much. It's not completely Sega's fault since this is a launch title and it didn't have the time to fine tune the controls enough. So while I do understand why the controls aren't that good, it doesn't mean that I'll give it a pass since it's the one thing you're constantly dealing with. Let's start with the single player game. If you've never played a monkey ball game before, the series is very hard and frustrating. So I really don't think this game was made for kids, more like teenagers. I think kids would get too frustrated and just give up. The level designs are just as clever as the other titles I played. Their simplistic nature hides the complexity of when you're actually playing it. It took a lot of practice to even be good enough to finish some of the later levels, never mind going for a high score in banana collection. So if you're up for a punishing difficulty level, this game will give you the challenge that hardcore fans of the series expected. But the challenge does feel a little cheap when the biggest obstacle in getting past a level is the loose controls. You conquer each world one at a time, and in each of the worlds there are eight levels and a boss fight. You can play any of the levels in any order you want, which is a great thing if you get too frustrated with one of the levels. However, the bosses seem like an afterthought. You fight them in a circular area and you try and kill them before the time runs out. While the controls were even more of a pain on these stages, the camera was even worse. Thank goodness the boss fights were usually over pretty quickly. The other staple of a monkey ball game is the mini games, and this one doesn't disappoint in the amount they have. 
There are 50 of them to choose from. However, the saying quantity over quality sure applies to these games, since maybe four of the 50 games are worth playing, and I'm being generous. Baseball, bowling, maze, and jigsaw were the only decent games, but that's not to say they were controlled well. Bowling as an example. The way to get your character in position to start your throw was a bit twitchy. However, once you get in position, it was easy to control. The most baffling thing in this game is that they drop the controls that they used in the single player game and make every mini game have different controls. And that's just extremely confusing. While they do explain to you before you start the game how to use them, they aren't always as intuitive as you would expect. They have you holding the Wiimote in every possible direction you can think of. And sometimes they even make you hook in the nunchuck for some usually worthless reason. The publisher's plans look like they decided to rip off every mini game they've ever seen and systematically find some way to consistently mess them up because they think they're making them better. Or as I call it, the Final Fantasy Syndrome. Basically, you take something simple and jack with it for no reason. Like in Final Fantasy XII, where you can't just equip your weapons, you have to have the license to use that weapon. In every Final Fantasy game, they have to find some way to overcomplicate something. And that's one of the main reasons I can't stand the Final Fantasy series anymore. But back to Super Monkey Ball. For an example, let's look at the Paper Rock Scissors mini game. Everyone knows how to play this game. It's so simple. You mimic in your hands scissors, paper, or rock. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock, and rocks break scissors. Amazingly, the publishers actually managed to screw up this game as well. Even though the game only had three possible actions in it, they decided to add their own twist to the game by adding a helmet and a hammer, and it makes the game unplayable. There are even mini games where the whole gimmick of the game is thrown out the window. Spear fishing? What does this have to do with monkeys or balls? Every kid's game you could think of is in this game. It was like they went to a kindergarten and started writing down the games the kids played at recess. Red light, green light, Simon says. What's next? Jump rope? Yep, it's there too. If you actually have a friend who's willing to play this game with you, they have a point system to help keep track of who's winning which mini game and who's got the overall best total. When you do really well in a mini game, they'll force you to put your name in a top three list. It gets a bit irritating to have to put your name or some random letters all the time. Of course, they don't make it easy for you to put your name in. You have to scroll through a wheel to find each letter to enter your name. It was just too time consuming. Plus, they don't give you the option of retrying the same mini game. No matter how short a mini game is, they always take you back to the mini game submenu, just so you can reselect it again and replay the same game you just left. I think this game was obviously rushed with its lackluster minigames, loose controls, and occasional game freezing. If you are going to buy this game, you'll most likely stay in the single player game since it's by far the best part of this game. The game was originally $50 and that's outrageous for the content they give you. But because this was a launch title, it was a bestseller. But now it's retailing at $20 and that makes it a little bit better. If you're a Monkey Ball fan who really needs your Monkey Ball fix, then you should give it a try but you're going to find that you're going to prefer the precision controls of the other versions of the game series. If you've never played a Monkey Ball game before, save your money and buy Monkey Ball 2 for the GameCube. You'll enjoy it more. Whew, I'm glad that review's over. I just wish I knew how this game was haunting me this whole time.